new videos every day. Psyche Truth. Life. Wisdom. Hi, I'm Jen Hillman, and today I would like to guide you through a complete beginner's yoga practice. We call it Yoga for Dummies. Doesn't mean you're not smart. This is just a really excellent place to begin if you've never done yoga before. So yoga has a ton of great benefits. It can help you to relax, ease your stress and tension. It also helps to relieve back pain and other muscle aches in your body. Yoga is just so beneficial for so many reasons. And I know it can be intimidating if you've never done it before. So this is my gift to you, a chance to experience yoga in your own home, in your living room, in the privacy of your own space. And this way you can experience the many benefits of yoga firsthand. So make a little room, favorite this video, and let's get started. So to begin, we'll start just in a comfortable standing position. And the first thing I'll invite you to do is just notice how are you standing? Are your feet turned in or out? A lot of times, maybe one foot is turned in while the other foot is turned out. Maybe you're slumping in your spine. Um, maybe your neck is jutting forward. There's lots of different postural habits that people have. And yoga is all about cultivating mindfulness and awareness. So the very first step it's just starting to pay attention. So notice how you're standing. To begin in a proper standing pose, you wanna make sure that your feet are parallel to one another. So this could feel a little pigeon-toed if you're used to turning your feet out, but the best way to gauge is to look down and see that the outer edges of your feet are parallel to each other. Then stand up strong in your legs. Hug the muscles close to the bone and feel your legs start to become firm and strong. Then lift up through your torso. You can imagine making more space between your rib cage and your hip bones. So you really wanna lift up nice and tall and notice how that engages your core muscles. Then let your chest be broad and open and your chin is slightly lifted. So this is a nice standing pose and you're gonna feel the muscles in your body starting to engage. So this is where we begin, right here, standing with mindfulness. So this is gonna be our home base, this nice strong standing pose. And our simple action from here is to take an inhale, a big breath in, and sweep your arms up overhead. And just reach here, growing tall, lift up. So you're gonna feel yourself reaching towards the sky, growing taller with every breath. You can even reach one hand over the other, creating a little more stretch along the sides of your waist. So we'll just do this a few times at your own pace, just starting to stretch, warm up and feel your body. And as we're getting started, I'd like to ask, what do you guys think about that yoga for dummies? You know, it's not my favorite. I don't want to call people dumb, but I've heard that it's a pretty popular search term, yoga for dummies. So what do you think? Is it funny? Is it catchy? Or is it offensive? I don't really know. Karina and I were talking about it and thought we'd ask for your feedback. <laughs> It's always great to hear from you guys. So we're just reaching our hands up. Then go ahead and reach both hands simultaneously up towards the sky. Take another big breath in. And this time as you exhale, start to fold your body forward. Slowly start to fold over your legs. Now, if you are not very flexible, bend your knees a lot. You can bend your knees as much as you need to to let your upper body completely relax. 
So let your head hang. Let your arms and shoulders relax as well. And just let your torso surrender to gravity as you start to fold forward. And you're gonna feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings. And if you can't reach the floor, if you can't feel your hamstrings, bend your knees even more. And then again, we're gonna stand up on your inhale. Take a big breath in and stand all the way back up. Sweep your arms up overhead, stretching nice and tall. And as you exhale, just let your hands come down by your sides. So we're gonna try that little sequence again. Inhale, sweeping your arms up. And as you exhale, fold your body forward. Remember, you can bend your knees a lot. It's no problem. Sometimes people think that they're not doing it right if their knees are bent. But the truth is, that if your knees are straight, sometimes it can put a lot of strain and tension on the backs of your knees. And if you bend your knees, you can actually stretch your hamstrings even better. So don't worry about right or wrong. It's more important that you get a good stretching sensation. So bend your knees as much as you need, especially in the beginning of our practice. Let your head relax down so there's no tension in your neck. And then on your next inhale, we're gonna stand all the way up. Big breath in. Bring your arms up with you. Grow tall in your spine, lift up and lengthen. And exhale, bringing your hands back down by your side. And we'll do this again. Inhale, sweeping your arms up. Exhale and fold. So just moving through this simple sequence, you'll start to notice that in yoga, we link our movement with our breath. This is just one of the many ways that yoga helps you to relax and release stress just by getting in touch with the rhythm of your own breath. On your inhale, rise all the way up and see if you can tune in to a sense of how your breath guides the movement and exhale and let your arms come down and we'll move through this again inhale sweep your arms up and exhale to fold And maybe you're able to bend your knees less and less each time. Certainly, the more you practice, the easier it will become. So from this position, we're going to extend your spine so it's not rounded, but it's going to be lengthened. And again, I encourage bend your knees a lot you can bend your knees even more than you were so with your knees bent on your inhale lead with your chest lift your gaze and reach your heart forward so you'll see how my back became flattened out then as you exhale you just fold your body down again so it's a simple movement Really bend your knees so you're not straining in the backs of your knees or in your legs. Inhale, lead with your chest to reach your heart forward and really feel a sense of your back lengthening. You're gonna feel your back muscles engaging. That's what we really wanna go for. So feel your back muscles being strong for you. And as you exhale, fold forward again. And we'll do this a couple more times. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And when you come all the way forward, lift your belly up and in. 
So don't let it be flopping out towards the floor, but lift and re resist gravity. This is gonna help you tone those core muscles. Then as you exhale, fold all the way down. One more time like this. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Lift your belly up and in. Keep your knees bent, lead with your chest. And then exhale and fold. Then plant your hands down on the ground, spread your fingertips really wide. And then you'll just come down onto your knees. So this is a nice slow transition coming into a tabletop position. So once you're on your hands and knees, it's important, again, to make sure that your body is in a good alignment. So spread your fingertips really wide so you have a lot of surface area covered with your hands. And check to make sure that your wrists come directly underneath your shoulders. So this is helping to build strength and stability in your arms. Also look back to see that your knees are coming underneath your hips. So again, you're stacking your bones and creating a stable alignment in your legs. We're going to do a little movement we call cat and cow. Basically, this is just gonna be warming up your spine and allowing for a little movement and mobility in your spine, which usually gets really stiff for a lot of people. So here's your chance to move. So you're going to lift your chest and your tailbone, and this happens on an inhale. And then as you exhale, you'll round your spine, scoop your belly in, and tuck your chin to your chest. And then inhale, lift your heart, lift your tailbone. And exhale, round your spine. Scoop your belly in, tuck your chin. And again, inhale. So we're gonna move through this sequence a few more times. You can find your own rhythm, honor the rhythm of your own breath, and just find that maximum range of motion for your spine. Last time, exhale, ground your spine, and then come back to neutral. Now slowly and gently find your way down onto your belly. You can extend your legs back, and then lower yourself all the way down to the floor. So now we're going to do some exercises to build the strength of your back muscles. So for a lot of people that spend time sitting at a computer or working at a desk or even driving in a car, all of these things can contribute to making our back muscles weak and sore and tight. So this is an excellent exercise to build the strength in your back and help you feel supported and not so stiff and achy. So we call this Cobra Pose. So we'll begin again by checking your alignment. Make sure that the tops of your feet are down on the floor and squeeze your legs together. So it's like you have a snake tail. So your legs are close and tight together. Bring your hands alongside your chest and your elbows will squeeze in towards your rib cage. 
Now the very first thing you're going to do is lift your shoulder bones up to the sky. So now you're going to feel your upper back starting to engage and your shoulder blades squeeze together on your back. So that's how you know you're activating your back muscles, getting strong. So keep your shoulder bones lifted and then start to peel your chest away from the floor. Make sure that your shoulders keep moving down your back away from your ears. So we're not gonna wear our shoulders like earrings, no, no. Pull your shoulders away from your ears so your neck is nice and long. Then release and come back down to the floor. And we'll repeat that action. So shoulder bones go first, lift your shoulders up to the sky, feel your upper back start to activate. Then curl your chest away from the floor using the strength of your upper back. You could even try lifting your hands up off the floor. Look, mom, no hands. And that's how you know you're really using the strength of your back muscles and not muscling with your arms. So lift up a little higher. And as you exhale, release down. Let's try that again. Lift your shoulder bones up and peel your chest up. And release. Let's try that one more time. Lift your shoulders up and back and curl your heart up. Now we're going to press back into a child's pose. So come back to your knees, and then sit your hips down towards your knees. If your knees are very tight, it might help to put a pillow behind your thighs, or maybe another rolled up yoga mat or a towel, something to give you a little extra support so that you can come back and rest your hips towards your heels. Then walk your hands forward and lower your head towards the floor. Really reach your hands forward so that you feel a gentle stretch in your shoulders. Many of us feel tension in our shoulders. This is just one of the many poses that helps to stretch and lengthen out those tight muscle fibers. Let your breathing be slow and steady. And see if you can make the length of your inhale and the length of your exhale the same. Child's pose is an excellent resting pose. Anytime you're in a yoga practice, whenever you need a break, you can always come to this pose and let your body take a moment to recover. sit up so just walk your hands back towards your knees so you can press yourself up and sit your hips over to one side and swing your legs forward and again if it's difficult for you to sit up straight with your legs extended forward you can sit on a pillow, you could sit on a folded up blanket or towel, or maybe another yoga mat. Anything to lift your hips up higher will make it easier for you to extend your legs to the front. From here, bend your left knee and bring the 
inside of your foot to the inside of your right thigh. Then place your fingertips on the floor, keeping your spine nice and long and as straight as you can. Walk your hands forward towards your ankles. You might not go very far, but you don't have to. All you're trying to do is get a stretch in your hamstring. Once you've activated that stretch, just tune into your breath. Sometimes when a stretch becomes intense, we want to hold our breath and try and just suffer through it. But the truth of the matter is, that actually creates more tension in your body. So if it's a little intense, just breathe. Your breath is going to help you relax and soften. And you may find, after a few cycles of deep breath, you're able to stretch just a little bit farther. Stretching our hamstrings is so important because oftentimes low back pain and even sciatic pain can be a result of tightness in our hamstrings. It's crazy. Your whole body is connected like that. How tension in one place can cause you problems in another area. So that's another benefit of yoga, that it targets your whole body. So it helps to relieve aches and pains all over the place. And gently walk your hands back to come out of this stretch. And then we'll switch sides. So extend your left leg forward and bend your right knee. Then once you have a nice tall spine, bring your fingertips on the floor and gently walk your hands forward. Remember to breathe. This is gonna help you get deeper into the stretch. And don't be surprised if one side feels more tight than the other. It's very common that people hold tension more on one side or the other. So just be patient with yourself. Be compassionate. You don't have to do everything perfect and it doesn't always have to be the same from right to left. Just tune in to whatever sensations you notice. cycles of deep calm breath you can stretch a little bit deeper left leg extended and turn your right knee towards the sky so you have a couple of choices here if it's easiest for you to keep your right foot to the inside of your left knee you can do that but we're going to move into a twist and you're going to get a deeper twist if you can bring your right foot to the outside of your left knee Then bring your right fingertips behind you, no matter where you are, 
no matter which position you choose. Lift up through your spine so you grow really, really tall. Then you can start to twist to the right side. Now I'm using my left elbow to hook to the outside of my right knee, making it possible to twist even deeper. So I'm using the leverage of my left arm to help me get deeper into this twist. Keep sitting up tall in your spine, creating more and more space for you to keep twisting. slowly unwind, coming back towards the front, and you can switch legs. So extend your right leg down and bend your left knee. And remember, you have a choice here. You can keep your left knee to the inside of your right leg, or for a deeper twist, bring your foot to the outside of your right leg. And plant your left fingertips behind you and lift up really tall in your spine, sitting up really as tall and straight as you can. Then hook your right elbow outside of your left knee to give you the leverage you need to twist your spine. Keep lifting up tall. The more you can sit up straight, the more space you will have to twist through your spine. And doing these deep twists is extremely good because it helps to detoxify and cleanse your organs. Just another of the many benefits of yoga. It's actually working on your insides as well as your outsides. Don't forget to breathe. And it may seem difficult to breathe when you're in this deep twist, but see if you can expand through the sides of your lungs. And we'll slowly unwind, coming back to the front. Now, if you're on a yoga mat, just scoot forward a little bit. We're going to try one more pose. This will be our most challenging pose for the day, but one of the other things that we learn from yoga is how to gracefully face a challenge. So plant your hands behind you with your fingertips pointing forward. This is a great stretch for your wrists and forearms. If you spend a lot of time at a computer typing at the keyboard or using a mouse or if you're a college student and you're writing a lot of papers or if you're a massage therapist like me and your forearms can get tight this is a really great stretch just like this but the challenging part comes in when it's time to lift your hips away from the floor so point your feet as much as you can press down with your hands to lift your hips up as high as you can. This is also going to be a stretch in your shoulders and your biceps, as well as strengthening in your legs and your core. Then lift your chin, lift your throat, and press up as high as you can. Really go for it. Lift up, lift up, lift up. And then sit all the way back down. Yeah, I feel that yoga challenge. <laughs> Let's try it a couple more times. So you can take a break whenever you need to, but it's great to challenge yourself to see what kinds of goals you can really achieve. Sometimes it's your mind telling you that you can't do it, when really your body can do it. So let's try again. Point your feet down towards the ground. Press down through your hands to lift your hips up. Lift your gaze. 
lift your hips, open your heart. Lift up as high as you can and lower back down nice and easy. Are you feeling strong yet? <laughs> Let's give it one more shot. Last challenge for the day. Point your toes down, press through your hands, and lift through your hips. Don't forget to breathe. It's the most important part. Press up as high as you can and release down. Great job, you guys. That's an awesome yoga practice. And it doesn't take a lot to really feel your body getting stronger and more flexible. So to end our practice today, we are going to take the final resting pose called Shavasana. It's called the corpse pose. So it's the easiest one you can imagine. You're just going to lay all the way down onto your back. And let your feet fall out to the sides so you'll feel your hips completely relax. Let your belly and your breathing relax. So you're gonna feel your belly rise and fall with each inhale and exhale. And let your hands fall out to the sides with your palms facing up towards the sky so your chest and your shoulders are automatically open. And slowly close your eyes and tune into the rhythm of your breath. And tune in to any tingling sensations as a result of our practice today. pose is your chance to completely relax. There's nothing that you need to do. There's nowhere that you need to be. You are exactly in the right place, right here. slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. You can roll your ankles and wrists around and let a little movement come back into your body. And as you're ready to come out of this corpse pose, gently roll over onto one side. So bend your knees and roll to one side. You can even keep your eyes closed so you stay in that state of relaxation. I like to take an extra moment to just rest here. And then we'll begin to sit all the way up by pressing your top arm down into the floor to press yourself all the way up and if you can you try and keep your eyes closed as you come to a seat and you can bring your hands on top of your knees and stay in this relaxed state and feel how your body feels different than before we started today. And gently bring your hands to a prayer position at the level of your chest. 
and take this moment to give yourself some gratitude. Thank yourself for taking this time to try something new, to try something scary. Thank yourself for facing a challenge today. This is also a great moment to appreciate your amazing body and all of the things that it can do. So maybe this wasn't a perfect practice for you, but just by taking the step today, you've started down the path unfolding the amazing wonder that is your yoga practice. So thank you so much for joining me today and allowing me to guide you through maybe your very first yoga practice. That's awesome. I'm sure you did a great job and I really appreciate you joining me today. If you'd like to learn more about me, visit my website, jenhillman.com. And subscribe to the Psyche Truth channel, where you'll get access to all my yoga videos as your practice advances. Don't forget to leave your comments below. It's so great to hear your feedback. And favorite this video so you can come back and practice along lots of times. I promise it only gets easier. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for watching. I hope you're feeling awesome after our practice today.